impeachment motion that will be tabled on the floor of the House because that impeachment motion has already been taken to the office of the Speaker. But before then, we, before we head back to that conversation, let's have a look at uh, the SGR partnership where the East African partner states have convened in Kampala to assess the status of uh, the Standard Gauge Railway. The Standard Gauge Railway is a planned railway system linking country to country in the East African bloc. In 2017, Kenya opened the Nairobi Mombasa Standard Gauge Railway, which is a boost to, to the transport sector in Kenya. Here are the details. How far have we gone in the preparation, in the construction of this year? What are the challenges which are being faced? We last held a meeting in 2019 in Chigali, and we agreed on actions to be undertaken. Unfortunately, COVID came in, and the progress has been a bit slow. So we are going to start from where we actually stopped. And a lot of progress members have taken place. At least we are aware SGR now has been constructed from the port of Mombasa up to Naivasha in Kenya. Preparations are in high gear for the construction from Naivasha, Kisumu up to Maraba. Preparations are high in high gear for the construction from Maraba up to Kampara. And of course, thereafter, we are also constructing from Kampara, Kasese, linking up to Rwanda, Kasese, linking up to DRC. So now the country is staring at a return of the Azimio protest and anti demonstrations uh, could resume should the bipartisan talks uh, actually not uh, go the way Azimio or wants it and this is the reason as to why <laughs> hours after the azimio wing in the bipartisan talks suspended dialogue for seven days party leaders have endorsed the decision we have a statement the team had indicated that they were going to seek direction on the talks from their leaders and now the leaders have spoken the meeting resolved and has given authority to our team in the bipartisan talks to issue a notice of dissolution of the talks in the event that Kenya Kwanzaa will not publicly accede to the interim measures within six days in line with the provisions of the framework agreement. This notice ends on Tuesday next week. According to Azimio, the Kenya Kwanzaa side is not keen to address the substantive issues that they have raised among them cost of living, an audit of IEBC servers, restructuring and reconstitution of IEBC and an end to taking over of Azimio affiliate parties. Kenya Kwanzaa sees the talks as a process of managing the political situation, calming down the political temperatures and continue with business as usual. Further, Azimio claims Kenya Kwanzaa side is receiving instructions from different bosses. Kenya Kwanzaa side is essentially uh, several teams in one. The members are answering to different bosses, they are getting different instructions, and are clearly pulling in different directions. Kenya Kwanzaa has no clear direction on whether the talks should proceed or not. They have no clear direction from Mr. William Ruto on how to proceed. The Azimio Wing has now retreated to re-strategize on their next move. It is a standard procedure that for any team of negotiators to delve into substantive issues, they need to agree to take some preliminary steps that preserve the substantive matters. The joint bipartisan team has severally not reached a consensus on the thorny issues emerging in a back and forth, and now it is not clear if the talks will proceed. The two parties agreed to hold talks after the opposition organized street protest the capital and Kisumu last month. Initially, the protests were scheduled to take place every Monday before Azimio made them bi-weekly. During the protest, businesses in the affected cities were paralyzed with the tens of injuries and arrests reported. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. All right. Thank you, Daniel Karuki, for that. Of course, a developing story right there. Uh, we continue keeping a keen eye on it. How 
it will end of course uh, with uh, the Azimio team side saying that they've given the Kenya Kwanzaa team six days which ends next week on Tuesday um, to actually adhere to uh, some of the issues they want addressed in that bipartisan committee now let's continue having that conversation about the Sierra County um, uh, wrangles um, that's touching on the deputy governor who is being told by the party to quit um, so that to allow the governor, that is Jim Sorengo, get someone else that they can, he can work with. And your relationship with the governor has been termed as not like it's, it's a bitter working relationship. It cannot work. And you're saying that you cannot resign. You will not step down. You will stand until the end of this war that you want to fight. But do you think you will get justice? I am very convinced. And this justice I'm talking about, not at the Senate Assembly, but at the County Assembly, when this motion will be taken to the MCAs. So, um, you know when you have a clear conscience, eh? and you are on the side of the people, you honestly do not care what the other side is saying. But to answer your question, I still hope that uh, sanity is going to prevail mm -hmm. amongst the members of the county assembly. <clears throat> I mean, what kind of poetic justice is this? The gentleman that is, um, has expressed intention to uh, submit a motion for my impeachment is not even an, a member of ODM. Sierra County has 42 MCAs. Out of the 42, 40 are ODM MCAs. Two, one is uh, UDM, the other one is um, independent. Now, the gentleman that wants me impeached is a UDM a MCA um, uh, in, 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 the, in the county assembly. Now, the irony of, this is, uh, of that is this. That this gentleman, who is not even a member of our party, I am an ODM deputy governor, that another uh, party member wants to impeach. But, and but, he has received support uh -huh. from in excess of 26 ODM MCAs. What but, irony is that? But, but, but DG, really? um, the work of the MCAs, their mandate is to oversee the running of the county, to put the leadership of that county, I'm talking about the governor and the deputy, you know, in check just to ensure that public funds are utilized well. Um, they give service delivery to, to Wananchi at the county level as they had promised. So there is nothing wrong with the MCA tabling an impeachment motion against you. And if the other 26 feel like the deputy governor is, has a frosty relationship with the governor, hindering service delivery, if they fail, like the deputy governor has been involved in corruption then they have the right to put this in public and bring it at the floor of the house that's a great but that's even not the point i am trying to make first of all we do not know the grounds of impeachment i am not corrupt so what were you responding to when they dismissed your report well um if you do not know the the grounds of the impeachment motion. I, I, I will, I, I, from where I'm sitting, uh, Brenda, that impeachment is not going to pass. Mm -hmm. And I want to also clarify that the uh, route for impeaching a governor or deputy governor is long and tedious. It's, it's a political process and then there's a legal process. It does not end at the county assembly. It goes all the way to the Senate. And even if it goes to the Senate, you still have the court options. But I am so, I'm extremely convinced that if the respective MCAs in Sierra County search their souls, mm -hmm. they will agree with me that indeed we need to fix Sierra. Mm -hmm. We need to stop the hemorrhaging. The, we need to stop corruption in Sierra County. Mm -hmm. I submitted not hot air not unsubstantiated as they said and i am happy because when i watched speaker this morning for the first time he said that uh, we would still be given the opportunity to defend i am hoping 
that as the speaker has said the deputy governor of Sierra County mm -hmm. will be given the opportunity in front of media and the public mm -hmm. to present his evidence all right because I have evidence all right so what is what is um, the governor of Sierra County James Orengo saying about this planned impeachment motion yes you I know you've said that you're not seeing eye to eye you've not mm -hmm. been talking for the last Two, two months. Two months, yes. But have you tried reaching out to him yes, concerning this impeachment motion? And if you have, what has he said? No, I haven't. Well, quite honestly, I suspect that he is behind it. I suspect. I have no evidence. And the reason I say I suspect is because the issues that I have raised are fundamental issues around governance. Mm -hmm. And uh, James Orango as um, governance and uh, a legal expert, I had expected that he would embrace this. In fact, the final nail in the coffin, the, the one straw that broke the camel's back was in February, Brenda. Mm -hmm. You know, our relationship with James Orengo was very good until late November. I remember earlier on I talked about abnormal withdrawals. This withdrawals continued through to December, mm -hmm. through to January. Mm -hmm. In record three months, the County Assembly of Sierra through impressed had withdrawn in excess of 100 million. And, and I have evidence which I will present to the Assembly. Our relationship with the Rango was very close till towards the end of November when I started questioning this withdrawal. Did, did you ever raise the concerns, the financial concerns with him? Yes, I did. In, within the three months, by the way, I didn't just start making noise suddenly. I was trying to explore internal mechanisms mm -hmm. to resolve this. I discussed with him in November, discussed with him in December, discussed with him in January. And in February, the reason I decided to now go to the public is in, when we joined, we tried to restructure finance to bring some sanity. And then mid-February, he brought back the same team that we had disengaged because of uh, the 600 million and the 400 million that had been lost mm -hmm. in the previous regime. The characters that were under investigation, the same group, James Orengo brought, brought them back but to then, finance. But, but then, uh, um, uh, uh, DG, you are raising very pertinent um, concerns, making very pertinent um, statements here yes. on KT News about you raising these concerns with your boss. Um, Jim Sorengo in terms of misappropriation of public funds what this brought to the fore of the finance committee of the county and what did they say? Well I want to say one thing here first that that is really oversight is not my role that's the role of the county assembly and in fact they need to wake up and do their job they have three primary roles legislation representation and oversight in fact they should be thanking me that I have provided them with enough evidence to come and oversight the executive. I sit in executive. Mm -hmm. By the time I am jumping out of my cocoon in executive mm -hmm. and talking about theft, mm -hmm. it must have gone beyond uh, required or acceptable proportions. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you saying uh, you say that you've tried r reaching out to um, uh, your boss. Yes. And uh, it seems like that olive branch that you, you extended is not being received, no response and everything. Don't you think it's a high time that the party leader came in and sorted out this whole issue because both parties mm -hmm. are from the ODM party? Yes. And a statement yes. was yes. issued by a leader from the ODM party. Yes, I, I'm still hoping that the party leader is going to reach out to us. Uh, and um, if the party leader does not reach out, I'm hoping the summit, the umbrella body, the National Executive Committee is, is going to reach out to us. I am also happy to report here that um, the Senator for Sierra County, Mwashimua Oburodinga, mm -hmm. reached out to me. Mm -hmm. And I uh, will be meeting uh, him. So uh, I believe these are um, uh, ways and means of, of resolving. Because really, uh, Brenda, uh, what pains me is that this protracted battle and supremacy war, uh, the end result is uh, service delivery. In fact, it's about, uh, I was about to ask you that, um, mm -hmm. as we finally bring this conversation to an end, 
because you are barely a right. year into office mm -hmm. you're actually heading to a year into office just right. in two months time actually three months time into office and this wrangles are actually affecting service delivery because you're saying you're not seeing eye to eye with the governor and i asked you earlier on then how are you attending to residents of CI county if you're not working together if you're not consulting together at the end of the day it's a common one in in CI county who's not getting the service delivery so what are you going to ensure that even as you await for that due process to take place that you are working with the governor closely that you are delivering the services that you promised to see a county people without any political hindrance. So um, I want to make it absolutely clear here, and uh, particularly, specifically, the people of Sierra County, that I am ready and willing, and have been prepared to discharge my duties and responsibilities as and when James Orengo assigns me those responsibilities. Meanwhile, in my are you own saying you've not been assigned any responsibility no not at this point i am just taking initiative and assigning myself responsibilities but ideally the roles of responsibilities of deputy governors have not been anchored in the constitution mm -hmm. um there is this amufa statement that talks about you know as may be assigned by the governor mm -hmm. so uh, you know we work at the mercy of of, of, of the governor to a large extent and, um, and, 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 and so that, that, that affects uh, um, um, uh, service delivery. Mm -hmm. but, but to come back to your question that you asked earlier, I looked at the lesser evil and I told myself that instead of waiting, because we just started, because a good number of folks have been saying, William O'Dwell, wait a minute, we only six, seven, eight months into this administration. I mean, these struggles have started way too early. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't we wait and, you know, talk about these things four or five years later? Now, which is the lesser evil? Do I wait? The people of Sarah, the Mamambogas, that we fought and said we were going to change their lives, mm -hmm. wait for their money to be stolen, and All then right. I talk about it five, four years later? I think I'm doing the right thing. I want to fix things the first year so that the remaining four years we are able to provide effective service delivery. All right. We wait and see how that will play out. We Thank you so much, it, it, it DG improves, William yes. Odwell, Thank you for much. joining us here on KTN News Center. And, you know, away from that, mm -hmm. the Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Coalition has now trained its gangs.